VFX bro here gonna do a real quick rundown of how we did the color correction in the Maybe I'm Crazy music video. Now obviously the skies were not originally pink when we shot this music video. Having the overcast in Los Angeles was a great and blessed thing that we ran into on uh, the day of shoot. Nice surprise. And um, we were able to take the color of those clouds and selectively change them to be um, pinkish and then actually purplish towards the end of the music video. Now I'm not going to be using actual footage from the music video but I have here a shot from this music video I directed um, a while back and so I'm going to just really quickly run through how we change the color of certain colors and I actually use this quite a bit. Um, a lot of the times I'll use it on water and um, it's can be very helpful in making water appear a lot more blue and uh, it's just kind of a cool trick to have especially when you're trying to do um, very stylized pieces works great for music videos um, so let's go ahead and dive into this really quick um, basically you're gonna open up your color tab and then go into your secondaries you're gonna grab this um, eye droplet here and then just select the color you want to change so for this shot I'm gonna go ahead and change the background we can control the parameters here on the right um, by expanding the saturation that it goes to um, or we can actually expand the darkness and brightness and then as well in the hue as well so we want this to just control the background so that looks good right out there we're just going to go over to our hue curve and to keep this natural you're going to want to keep the same lightness so that's that's the biggest thing here is only changing the hue we don't want to be changing the lightness we can change the saturation if we want um, over here on the right, if we just simply go to saturation, we can bring that up by um, dialing in on this right here. I'm going to go ahead and bring it up to about 4, uh, 1.4. And then I'm going to go ahead and just t um, hit points right here. And to the right and the left are the color we're changing, which in this case is pink. And then we're going to go ahead and just dial those up and down. And you can see that it very naturally changes the background. And for this shot, I kind of like the... Uh, I kind of like the orange look. So I'm going to go over to this orange, orangish red right here. Maybe boost up the saturation and leave it a little bit more. And um, there you have it. I have successfully changed the color of the background. So yeah, this has been VFX Bro with a quick rundown in Apple's color on how to selectively change the color.